Okay, this is Fred's Journey. This is a recent release for the Amiga. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's a cute little platformer. So, ah, Fred, a legendary C64 persona, fondly remembers his past journeys. Deciding to relive his adventures, he heads out again. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this game continues the wonderful tradition of creepy cute Amiga platformers. So, oh, it looks like we, um, okay, um, <laughs> there's a lot of enemies. Can I jump on them? No, it turns out not. Okay. Oh, it starts me when I, where I died. That's helpful. Okay. So, yeah, he's, he's more bearable when he's looking sideways. It's when he's facing forward that's, uh, that I get scared. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what these things I'm collecting are for, but he says shoe when he picks them up, so that's nice. <laughs> Can I break these? Oh yeah. Cool. So it'd be nice to have a way to dispatch enemies, but never mind. Can I... what? Can I... can I go? <laughs> or do I have to pick, get a key or something? Okay, there's, there's a little party going in this hole and I'm not invited because I will die. Um. Maybe I need to collect everything. It's probably one of those. So what did I miss? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh god, this is... Oh, Okay, there's some more of those sort of rupees sort of things over here. Okay. Ah, yes, it makes a noise. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Alright, I know what I'm doing now, sort of. I collect all of the all of the fruit. I mean, well, I don't know if I need to collect that or just the. They just give me points. Oh, oh, god damn, that's tricky. I was hoping that uh, it would have some modern sensibilities in terms of like giving you uh, unlimited lives or something. But oh god, oh I can oh. Oh, it's got a, there's a power up. Does that, yes, I can, sh okay, oh, the, the, the game has changed. The, yes, I can shoot fire out of my face. White hot death, eat it. Okay, okay, now, now this is, now this is, this is my game now. You're in my house, you're trapped in here with me. Okay, and that sound effect, I think, means that we're done, so we can move on. Oh, are you coming back? Okay, I'm, I'm coming with you. Okay, good. <laughs> ah! It's just... why? It, it, it always scares me. Like, this is not nearly as bad as it gets on the Amiga. Like, the creepy cuteness. Like, apparently there's a word for it in Japanese, but... Um, not in English. It's a kind of... just... Well, like creepy cuteness in my house to describe it. The enemies aren't so bad. Like that mushroom dude, he just looks happy. He doesn't look scary. But, but oh, yeah. You can turn and make him face forward. I wonder if, what happens if I press fire when I'm facing forward? Nothing. Okay, good. He doesn't shoot the player. <laughs> that would be, that would be cruel. Did I do these already? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna need to go down there as well. Oh, it's just it's just piling on. They seem to respawn, which is kind of irritating. But they seem to despawn as well. So are they gonna be? Yeah. Oh no, there's only one. Okay. So that's oh oh more thingies that I need to collect. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're gonna come down. Okay, good. guys just sold off. I'm trying to... Oh god, okay. You just go in there. I'm going this way. Alright, there we go. Okay, so it's not too difficult. I'm just rubbish, but it's, oh, it's not as bad as many platform games. It's very fair. Like, the controls are good. It feels, feels good to play. Oh no! Oh. But yeah, it still is possible to fail. I still have my face laser. I thought I'd lose it. Um, okay, I must, okay, is it going further? I think it might be going further now. 
I kind of wish it was a laser beam. Can you imagine meeting your end? This guy looking at you. Those eyes. He's, he just doesn't even blink. He'll just stare at your soul. Until you die. Oh, what's that? I don't know. I don't know if I needed to get it, but I got it. Okay, these guys are just flinging themselves into the void. That doesn't look like I can go down there. I don't know if it's gonna have a bottomless pit sort of situation, but I don't want to find out. Okay, can I get this in there? No. It's such a curious little sphere boy, isn't it? He's wearing a hat. It's just. It'd be nice if he had hands. You know, everyone, everyone should have hands. <laughs> It's like a bird without wings. <laughs> well, a spherical bird. That would probably be very aerodynamic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, the music is the music is fun. The music is enjoyable. Oh, I'm on power up. Give me ultimate power. Oh god. No. Oh, okay. Oh, the the ball is bigger now. Because that does more damage. I can't remember if I was needing to. Up there. Was I needing to hit them more than once? I don't know. I'm not going to say no to more power ups. I'm going to say yes to them. Yes, power ups. Oh dear. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh! Okay, is it going to keep respawning? This is annoying! Stop it! I need to. I need to get up there. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Oh! oh! I was trying to be cocky. Oh dear. I can actually enter my name. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna try again and see how far I can get. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I made it past that level. Curious to see what else the game has to offer. Have we discovered all the mechanics, or is there more? I'm not sure how long the game will be, but will there be any more enemies? Yes, we'll see. Oh, that, that face! Oh. <laughs> I can't get over it. Okay. Oh, another power up. How much power do we have now? So much power! Yeah. These mushrooms and tr tree pieces will rue the day they challenged Fred the Terrifying. <laughs> oh no, this was the level I was on before. I was confused. I thought, okay, yeah, because this is the part. I should be able to kill it with one. Damn it! Oh. Okay, um, at least I'm starting there. No, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. I don't. Oh, I know what to do. I'll stand here. There you go. Then I can get up here. Okay, that was the part I was stuck on before. Whew, that was tough. Yeah, so the challenge does seem to ramp up quite a bit. Um, so, that's cool. It starts off relatively easy. Um, is this the last bit? Oh, hang on. No? Okay. There we go. Woo woo! Alright, yay! <laughs> Every level, it scares me. <laughs> like I'm not kidding. That is genuinely unnerving. It's like it's like those kind of like creepy dolls people have, you know, like just the the wide eyes, the unblinking stare. You know what I mean? Like there's a game that really, um, really sort of does something interesting with the creepy cute thing. It's uh, Eversion. Did a video on it a long time ago. If you haven't played it. Play it without learning anything about it, because I hope I can. Okay, yeah, because that game is, is something else. Like I, oh god, that was close. Like I wish I'd I'd played that for the first time without knowing what was coming, because then it would have been so much better. But I saw a playthrough of it. But yeah, I think there's something you could do with subverting some of expectations when it comes to those kind of yeah, creepy things going on. Creepy cute. Almost done. Oh, there's this area down here. Oh, I don't. Yeah, 
If I do this, then I can get... Oh, dear. What? oh it's an extra life! I think. Oh, wait, I can't jump up on top of it, though, can I? It's not without... Yeah! Precision platforming. There we go. Okay, now I'm trapped. The wall of enemies unrelentingly... Oh! Okay. See, that's tough. That, that right there. Alright. And now I can't get that way. I'm gonna have to go back up. No! Okay. Alright. <laughs> Oh, he's getting tired. Look at that. Why is he so tired? Is, he just, is there a time limit indicated by his face? <laughs> oh, stop it. Okay. Okay, this is, this is the problem. Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. A lot of these levels seem very similar. I mean, they're using the same tile sets and even some of the same layouts look similar. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit samey, but it does what it does well. Bit of platforming enjoyment. You just have to get everything. It's, it's, uh, I'm not that much of a fan of the collective thought things because yeah, you just yeah, it won't let you go. <laughs> just stick your face up against the edge of the world. Ah, ah, another extra life. Let's, because this one, don't let it end. At least he's not looking forward. The extra life. Yeah, but, oh, I don't think I got the. Uh, Now I've got more. Uh, so I don't know what they, I guess those are just score. There's fruit and veg and that. Oh dear. It's, not, it's just fruit, isn't it? It's no vegetables. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> Onward. So yeah, I guess. Well, I guess the game is probably. Not going to show us too much more. Um, yeah, it's a good game. It's really cool to see more Amiga games in development. You know, they're not all breaking the breaking the mold or anything, but you know, they're doing they're doing stuff well. This could have easily this would have been one of the better uh, platform games if it was made back in the day. I think. Although it probably would have got more you know, variety and sprites and stuff, but the controls and the you know the, the implementation of it is all very good. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. This was Fred's journey. I'm just gonna watch these trees and mushrooms throw themselves into oblivion. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.